All right, guys. So in this question, uh, we have been given a quadrilateral ABCD whose sides are also given. And uh, the sides are 9, 40, 28, 15 centimeter respectively. And the angle between the first two sides is 90 degrees. So we have already drawn the figure here. Now the question is, you have to find out the area of this quadrilateral. Now, this uh, question can be solved either directly using Brett Snyder's formula, which we have discussed in session one. But then uh, since angles are not provided over here, so we'll have to use a lot of trigonometry. But then we have another method of doing it. And that is by, you know, breaking this shape into two, uh, two triangles. Okay, two triangles. And then, and then we can find out the area very easily. Let's see what do I mean. So I'm just going to connect AC. Okay. So here I go. So I connected AC. Now what I need to do, I have to just simply find out the areas of both the triangles and add. So I can write area quadrilateral ABCD will be equal to area of triangle ABC which happens to be a right triangle, hence I will be having some piece and that of A, C, D. Now here, this will be a little uh, lengthier uh, task, but never mind, we'll try to do that. But uh, in A, C, D, we have two sides given. So we cannot use Heron's formula until and unless we know A, C. But if you notice carefully, ABC is a right angle triangle and two sides are given. So AC happens to be the hypotenuse and wow. So we can find out AC and then proceed to find out the area of ACD. So let's first find it out. Uh, let's find out the value of AC. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square and this is by our very famous Pythagoras uncle's theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so what is AC squared? So AC squared is 40 squared plus 9 squared, which happens to be 1681. And if you see, 1681 happens to be 41 squared. So thank god that we got ac as an integer 41 this is what all of you love to see isn't it if it was a irrational number then it would have given you nightmares but yes thankfully we have got an integer so let's utilize the value of this integer what next so let us find out area of triangle abc first low hanging fruit so let's you know Pluck it, and this is nothing but half into base. Base could be AB, and height is BC. So it's a low hanging fruit. Half into AB is 9 into BC, which is 40. So 20 into 9. So hence it is 180 centimeters squared. So we got we got the first triangles area. That's so nice. So let's go to finding out the area of triangle, triangle A, C, D. Okay. How to find this out? Heron's formula will come for the rescue. S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Now, what's S? Semi-perimeter. So now you know that A, C is 41. So let us write it 41 here. So semi-perimeter is 41 plus 15 plus 28 upon 2. And this value comes out to be um, 84, I believe. Yes, 84 upon 2 is equal to 42. So we got the semi-perimeter, guys. Now S minus A, let's calculate. So it is 42 minus 41, let's say. This is 1, beautiful. So hence load is reduced. S minus B is 42 minus 15. Mm, not that great, but never mind. Let's see. 42 minus 15 is 27. Cool. 
and s minus c is 42 minus 28 which happens to be 14 my dear friends okay now what so let's find out area of triangle a c d is under root s what is s s is 42 into s minus a is 1 27 and 14 okay now thankfully you'll again get factors which are having even power so 42 is 14 into 3 27 is 3 cubed and this is 14 so you can very easily find out the area to be 14 times 9 correct yes sir correct so hence it is 126 centimeter square so now it's a cakewalk now area of triangle it's not quad quadrilateral a b c d a b c d is equal to the sum of the two areas first area value was how much guys first area value we calculated here 180 centimeter square and the second one was 126 centimeter square so 180 plus 126 which happens to be 306 centimeter squared right so what is the learning learning is let's jot down it's a good practice to write learning at the end of the day so learning is a uh, area of a quadrilateral can be found out by breaking it down into triangles area of triangles comprising the quadrilateral right and then obviously we know the formula of finding out the area of the triangle whether it is through half into base into height or through heron's formula okay so that is all about this question